is we want to let them make the announcement on the team name, and the website has the team name in it, and that's the first thing we want to kind of get out there so we can promote the fact that you can go grab some tickets there. And and in a few minutes, by the way, we will give away some uh, tickets here, uh, prize packs to uh, the AAF as well, to all of you. All right, so let's settle in here. And uh, uh, Coach Childress, welcome to Atlanta, and welcome to the uh, AAF. It's good to be here. And, you know, I got a text here from Hugh about a month ago. He said, hey, if I ever get you down here, can I get you on a, t- on a, on a radio show? Here I am, Hugh. Yes. Coach, haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> great. Look great. great. To see you. Look great. So you do you. Your, your, uh, your offensive coordinator, Michael Vick. What's going on? What's good, Hugh? Good Nothing to see much, you, man. man. Nothing much, man. Good to see you, too. Last time I remember seeing you, Vic, we were playing. We were in Atlanta. No, we were in Philly. We were in the playoff game. Remember? And, and I was chasing him. And I remember that was the first time that I played against him. I'm like, oh, he's not yeah. that fast. And when you pulled that thing down and ran into the side, and I was like, good God, yeah, I almost yeah. pulled a hamstring. <laughs> y'all, the reason I, y'all were the reason that. Oh, out of reason, and I didn't get a chance to compete in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Dude. You too. Yeah. You hey, we, hey, but you know what, Brad? Listen, we had been so many times, man. We were just like, we got to get it. We got to get this last one because I knew it was my last go round. But hey, <laughs> sorry. It worked sorry. out. Sorry. Yeah. All right, Coach Shilras, let's, uh, let's begin where we need to begin. The, the team has been named the Atlanta Legends. Yes, sir. And um, it kind of talks about this historic city and everything that's happened here in Atlanta, whether you're talking about the 100th Olympic Games or. You're talking about the civil rights movement, Martin Luther King, John Lewis. Um, I mean, there's so much history in this city that a uh, legends is only appropriate. So, and by the way, the website now we can say is AtlantaLegends.com. If you want to kind of check in on tickets, uh, I would imagine this is pretty exciting for you, Michael, to be able to be part of this and be part of this new franchise. Yeah, words just can't explain um, how excited I am. You know, to have an opportunity just to coach and to be able to coach with Coach Childress. Uh, a coach that I always looked up, to, looked up to, and, and always followed the lineage. You know, as far as uh, coaching styles and systems, man. I know Coach can. He's uh, he's one of the best. So I get to learn from the best. I get to coach. I get to, you know, I get to mentor. You know, it's uh, it's the best of both worlds. So, you know, it's just a great situation to be in, man. Very thankful that we're here in Atlanta doing this. So. So, so how did you get involved with coaching? Because it, it's it's one of those things. Yeah. I, I know you know that it takes up a lot of time. Yeah. So how did you you get involved in it and say, hey, this is what I want to do? Well, I think the time frame that we're working with now, I think it fits in my schedule. You know, I'm still working with Fox. Um, you know, still have a chance to talk about the game and then go coach it when the season when you know when Fox is over when the season is over. Um, so, you know, I know it's time consuming. I know the commitment. You know, we know. Mm-hmm. You know, the hard work that has to be put in. But, you know, I told Coach Childress and, and Andy Reid when I went to intern last year, it's something that I have to do at some point in my life. I didn't know it would, you know, be this abrupt and happen this soon, but I had to take advantage of the opportunity. So they knew that I still wanted to coach. And, uh, yeah, they reached out, and you know, I couldn't say no. And I know Coach Childress, you've told him that there's some nights that you got to have a cot. Because I remember being in Big Red's office. Big Red had a cot in his office. <laughs> And he didn't go home sometimes, so did know, you let him know? Chili going to make us have a cot. <laughs> yeah, my son works at the Bears. He had his blow up out the other night after Monday Night Football. you got to be back ready to go on Wednesday. Uh-huh. And uh, it, it, it rolls that way sometimes, You, You know, that's how it goes. Yeah, yeah. So um, now, like, as far as the offensive concept is concerned, I mean, what kind of offense are you planning to run? Is it going to be more similar to a pro-style offense, or you just is it going to be predicated on the type of players that you get? Well, I think you have to see who you have as your throwers and your catchers and your runners and then play to their uh, skills and ability. Uh, but football anymore, Mike and I were just talking about this, walking in the door. Whether you look at the NFL now, I mean, they're spreading you out from sideline to sideline, and, and that's what we're going to try to do. Don't give them the game plan, Coach. <laughs> score a lot of hey, points. I like, I like where he's going already because we just spoke a second ago. But, yeah, don't give them the game plan. You know, you know what, Mike, I want to ask you, man, because now, like you, like you said, abruptly, you're on the other side of it now. You're the offense coordinator. You're going to have to coach a young quarterback. How would Coach Michael Vick coach the player Michael Vick? What would you say to you if you were coaching you in your style, in the way that you like to play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, would you, how would you try to coach you? Just, you know, you got to start from the basics. Every coach that I, I've had, they always, you know, started from the ground up. So they didn't just come out and just try to make me uh, – you know, a certain type of quarterback. They like Coach Coach Children just said. They looked at my strengths and my weaknesses and they played off that. And 
if you look at the offenses that I was that I was in in the beginning, you know, with Dan Reeves, it was, you know, it was versatile. It was wide open, it was spread. You know, quarterback draws all over the place. He took advantage of my talents. And then when I got with Greg Knapp and Jim Moore, it was more West Coast style, drop mm-hmm. back in. You know, so you know, but at, towards the end of that, we still be throwing a wildcat, and they took advantage of my talent. So similar to what Coach said, you just gotta you got to take advantage of a player's strengths and and, and you know, stay away from the weaknesses, try, try to, and, and, you know, if they do have weaknesses, just work on them. You know, though, Mike, you, you like, you you had a style where you pull that thing down and run it. And to your credit, like, sometimes you got hurt. You can't, you know you can't have your quarterback yeah. getting hurt now. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely so going to preach that to <laughs> You can't have him back there pulling it down, nah, running man. for like 100 yards. You got to you gotta kind of rein him in just a little bit. Yeah, now looking back on my career, I wish I would have been more responsible and uh, definitely more accountable. Get him right, coach. Get yeah. him right. Hey, yeah. your, your best ability is availability. You, you know yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Exactly. You need to be there week in and week out. Talking with uh, Brad Childress, he's the head coach of the Atlanta Legends of the American uh, Alliance of American Football. Let me get it correct. Alliance of American Football, which will be played at Georgia State Stadium beginning a uh, week after the Super Bowl, correct? Is that uh, when the season's going to start? Right. right. Saturday yeah. after the Super Bowl on CBS. Yeah. So you, you, you're you going to have to go You're gonna have to go quick. Did it ever cross your mind when you decided to bring Mike Vick in to, to look at him and say, um, can you, you want to play? <laughs> you know what? I just had that conversation with somebody the other day about the, the last player coach that I remember, and Billy, you could probably cue me on this, it was Dan Reeves. He was a player yeah. coach at the Dallas Cowboys. So, okay. you know, everybody keeps kidding us in this league already that we already got the best quarterback. Right. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, well, we you, haven't negotiated anything like that. Do you want you know to play? What? I think, It'll uh, be an advantage. You know, I wouldn't. I think he wants to teach right now. and, and uh, I want to teach. I, I, I got a great opportunity to watch him. Talked to the quarterbacks last year in Kansas City, and and he didn't speak a lot, but when he did, it was like E.F. Hutton. I mean, everybody's eyes, Alex Smith, Pat Mahomes, you name it, their eyes were there and listening. I would agree with that. I definitely would agree with that. All right, gentlemen, if you could stay, uh, stay around for a couple more minutes, could you do that for us? Okay, we're going to take a sure. quick break here, get you caught up. Morning show with John and Hugh on Sports Radio 92 on the game from the Kia Studios on this Thursday. Brad Childress, new head coach of the Atlanta Legends in studio, alongside a guy that you know so well in this town, One of the true legends, Michael Vick, as we continue with John and Hugh on Sports Radio 92 on the game.